Hey guys, Curry here, and today I'm going to be talking about the SoundCloud rapper that could have been an MLB superstar. I'm talking about Zay Penna, also known as Twisty P. The reason I say could have is because he has basically ruined his life with horrible decisions and has led himself into a deep, dark spiral that is only getting worse by the day. All of the potential he had as an athlete and just a person in general has been flushed away for just 15 seconds of fame. But yeah, if you don't know who Twisty P is, he recently made an audio on TikTok that went viral. You've definitely heard it in the past week or so, and I'm just going to play it now. Along with that, he said and done some really stupid shit on TikTok and Instagram Live. I'm going to play a few of those clips now, just so you can get an idea of who this guy is and what his character's like. Hey, hey, what a problem, man. I'm spinning on the purse like I'm a lover, man. Sing it every day. What the fuck you gonna do? What the fuck you gonna do? Oh, Chico G. Oh, Chico G. Gayest thing on the internet, bro. Right here. I jerk off the grinder, bro. Woo! Shit is gay, bro. <laughs> What the fuck are you doing? This guy just hit me, bro, on live. Zay Pena was born in 2001, living with his Hispanic mom and grandmother for the majority of his life. Zay and his mother in particular had a very strong relationship, as most people do. Zay never leaving his mother's side and his mom having an unrelenting love for him and supporting him for whatever he did throughout his childhood. Which, like a lot of kids, included a lot of sports. He played football, basketball, and baseball when he was in middle school and elementary school, but found the most love in baseball and football. While growing up, he was described as lighthearted, always happy, and always had a smile on his face, no matter what happened. As a kid, he was popular among his peers. He was nice to everyone, had a lot of friends, and was nice to his teachers, who loved the joy he brought into the classroom every day he was there. Zay would later become the team captain for his Pee Wee football team, who never had a losing season while Zay was in the program. He would later go to Catholic Cathedral High School, and in 2017, he started on the baseball team as a freshman at shortstop. Despite starting as a freshman, he hated Catholic Cathedral and how his teammates and coaches treated him. Zay once said he would quit all of his sports forever if it meant he didn't have to go to Catholic Cathedral anymore. Soon after his freshman year ended, he would transfer to Mission Bay High School, located in a suburb near San Diego. At first, it was great. He was making a lot of friends there, and he was improving rapidly at baseball and football. However, a new coach took over the baseball team, a man named Dustin Pugue who hated Zay and limited his role on the baseball team for the rest of the season. Infuriated by his coach's decision to bench him, he would later transfer again to University City High School for his junior and senior year. To much of his own and his family members' surprise, University City High School is a perfect fit for him, as he grew into a legit prospect in both baseball and football while at the high school. The video you're seeing in the background right now is actually Zay doing batting practice as a part of his recruiting video for the class of 2019. But he would have to play football for the school anyways before his baseball season. Although football wasn't his primary sport, he was still a beast on the field. Like, look at this hit he delivered on his old high school during a summer scrimmage his junior year. After that hit and some excellent play during the summer camps, he was starting at strong safety and wide receiver for his junior season. This kid was insane. As you're going to see in his huddle highlights, he was an absolute ball hawk and returned multiple defensive plays for touchdowns and was an absolute phenom when it came to special teams, whether he was receiving it or he was setting blocks for his teammates. His measurables were also off the charts too. He had a 4.740 yard dash and was 6'2", 200 pounds by his senior year. At the end of his senior season, he had some insane stats, including over 60 tackles, 2 fumble recoveries, 2 interceptions, and a lot more. He was soon named second team all conference for safety and was named third team all state for his blocking abilities on punts and was awarded as being a top 25 strong safety in Southern California. It's safe to say that he was an elite prospect at football and was soon given his first D1 offer from his home college, San Diego State University. He also was able to go to pretty much any D2 school he wanted if he stuck to football during that time. But Zay decided to stick with baseball instead of going to football spring camps over the baseball season. Crazy part was, he was arguably better at baseball than he was at football. 
At the start of his senior season, he was listed as a utility player, which basically means he could play at any position. His grade on max preps for hitting was a 45, which was above high school average. He was also given a similar grade for his power attributes on PerfectGame.com, and was projected to have an average 82 mile per hour exit velocity as a hitter, which pretty much means on average every time he made contact with a baseball, it went over 80 miles per hour, which is very decent for a high school hitter if you guys didn't know. But the craziest part is, he also mainly played pitcher. He played shortstop and pitcher as his main positions, which are two of the hardest positions in baseball, and was elite at both of them. And during the first few weeks of his senior season, he had a 4-4-4 batting average and a 2 ERA when he played pitcher. For a different perspective on how truly insane his batting average was at the start of the season, the average California hitter had a .28 batting average. Zay was borderline unstoppable when he was at the plate, and while he was on the mound, he was borderline unhittable. But for some context, he was playing in a relatively weak division in Californian baseball, but the numbers are still insane. His athletic abilities from football also carried over into the baseball season, as he had a 4.78 shuttle time, a 7.5 second 60 yard dash, 4.9 second home base to first base time, and a 7.8 broad jump. He had all the tools to be a great baseball player that would eventually develop into an MLB player and maybe even a superstar, and a lot of colleges saw that, including once again a lot of D2 schools and a few D1 schools. One of the only and the first Division I school to recruit Zay was Oregon State University, who were at the time the defending national champions of college baseball. At this point in Zay's life, he was loved by most students and teachers alike, had a girlfriend that he asked out to prom, and had two different schools give him scholarships for two totally different sports. And that's not even to mention all of the articles online and in newspapers that were praising Zay. Zay was basically in control of his own destiny at this point, and had millions of dollars in MLB salary locked up if he continued to play well at Oregon State. But what happened? There's so many things that went wrong, mostly at his own fault, that contributed to his downfall in sports. The simple but heartbreaking answer to that question is heavy drug abuse. Zay got hooked on substances like lean, Percocets, and Xanax from a friend one time at a party. Since that one life-altering but tragic night in senior year, zay has been hooked on all of those substances I said and more. He was recently held in the San Diego jail from October to December of 2021 on what I have to assume is domestic drug charges. But ever since he came out of jail, he has not been the same. Just look at these videos and tell me, how the fuck is that the same person? Nutted in a 17-year-old yesterday, bro. You think I care? You think I care, bro? I don't care, bro. Don't care, bro. Don't care about this shit, bro. Don't care. Don't care, don't care, don't care, don't care. Oh my God, oh my God. Oh my God, he did this, oh my God, he did that. Oh my God, he has a face out, what the fuck? Yeah, that was extremely hard to watch, especially since we know how bright this kid could be. In the weeks following his release from jail, Zay started to party with rappers from Slay World, which is an underground rap group that consists of rappers like Con Con, Summers, and Autumn. From now until the end of the video, I'm going to refer to Zay as Twisty. Since Twisty has a tiny bit of clout now that he's associating himself with decently big rappers, he really thinks he can make it big in the rap industry and leaves everything behind to pursue his rap career. And one of the first things he does in his newfound profession is to diss every single person that helped him get up there on an Instagram live. This list includes Con Con, Summers, Autumn, and more. Bitch ass boy, I'm in the fucking H ho. Fuck double R. I'll smack you all around, bitch. Y'all should have killed my ass, boy. Summer's a bitch too. Beezy, Beezy, nigga. Come out to San Diego, bro. You're a hoe. While not on the Instagram live, Twisty disses IAs and threatens his daughter. Twisty says that IAs should come to San Diego so he can beat the shit out of him and rob him. Obviously stuff like that does not slide, so people on IAs' side somehow found out that Twisty was going to be in Houston a week later, then find him and jump him. However, he runs away at the last second like you can see in the video that's playing right now, but still gets robbed for most of the stuff that's in his wallet.
Bobby 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 Another rapper that's similar to Twisty is Space Ghost Perp. He was in a similar boat, being once a very kind and gentle kid, but somehow, some way, going completely off the rails and losing touch with reality. People are comparing the two because they have obvious mental health issues that were not treated when they were growing up, and they are both drug addicts. I wouldn't go as far to say that yet, but it's definitely looking like it. If he keeps it up, he will definitely be a modern day Space Ghost perp. We will never know how much potential he had as a baseball player and just a decent human being in general. If you somehow know Twisty in real life, please contact him immediately and try to turn his life around before it's way too late. This entire stunt that he's doing right now is an obvious cry for help and he needs treatment as soon as possible. But yeah, other than that, that's pretty much it. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like. This took me a very long time to make. And yeah, if you want to see more videos like this in the future, please hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.